Let's go. All right, back in action. Happy first day to everybody. Nice of you to survive until now. And uh, let's get back into the game that we love or love to hate, some of you. I don't know. And uh, we're going to watch uh, Mr. Ola's Goma. And he's playing the new tank, Astron Rex. It's a really funny name because it instantly reminds me of Commissar Rex. Anybody of you close to Austria or something know about the TV show with the detective and his dog Rex? That was an awesome fucking show. I really love that one. With his German Shepherd. Okay, whatever. Who gives a fuck about that? New tank? Who this? You can get this tank if you're extremely lucky for the new game mode, Return of the Waffentrager. I am an expert at that game mode because I have played exactly one game of it. And, uh, I mean, to each their own. I don't really enjoy it that much, but I think if you play it in a platoon it might be fun. The rewards are also fun. You don't even have to play your own tank, so you don't have to worry about credits that much and stuff like that. And you can earn some premium, hefty premium days and even get a tier 8 tank. But I think our friend here cashed in and keeping the game alive for us. Uh, freeloaders, especially me, I am the biggest Jew in this game. Ever since I started my free-to-play account, I have not been playing that much on my main account. And ever since I have not spent a single dime on, this, on the game, I used to, I bought premium account regularly and shit like that, premium tanks, you know. So yeah, it, it, I don't have a problem with people. I just don't understand people that have problem with others that are purchasing goods from this game with real currency. I mean, hello, if ever, everybody would play a free to play account, do you think the company would still be here? They would. I guess they would probably shut down the project and say, well, it was a good run, uh, here's the bonuses, and uh, have a nice time. So yeah, I really don't get people getting mad or frustrated about others paying for anything in the game. I mean, it's their choice, it's their money, they can do whatever the fuck they want. They can order hookers and play a new tier 8 premium tank if they want. Nobody cares, okay? Nobody cares, so yeah. There's that. So he's uh, having a battle in the chat instead of focusing in the game. All right, he's back. He's back. He's back. And uh, yeah, so the Rex has what? Five shells in the magazine. The standard pen is not that great. I think it's 190 or something. Yeah, it's 190. Yeah, you got something right with 320 free, free H um, alpha damage and 250 with premium rounds, which are all APCR. Are they APCR? They are APCR. They have to be. Yeah, they are APCR. Standard or AP? AP is trash. Alright. Uh, it's 2-4. He's playing on Runeberg. Did I get the map name right? Am I getting everything right today? Hello? Alright. So, it's basically an... Uh, it's basically a... A tank with a magazine. I mean... Nothing new here. It's not an auto reloader or anything fancy like that. It's just a regular tank. Another tier 8 premium. If, but let's be honest. You probably have a lot. You probably have. That was a cheeky shot. You probably have a lot of premium tanks in the garage, right? You probably have one or two tier 8 premiums. I mean, even me, the laziest piece of shit on my free to play, I have, uh, I have two tier 8 premium tanks and if we're being honest here you don't really need a new one unless you really unless you need it so bad that you can't sleep then okay but for the most people that I know they already have a shit ton of tier 8 premium tanks and I really doubt that you need that one more you know but still if this is kind of your, is if if this tank is up your alley, I mean, just get it. Okay, who cares? Oh, all right, so let's get back to the game. That one didn't go through. Just keep tracking him. There's another 
Commissar Rex right over there. And the uh, second frag, he has two frags, Mr. Oklahoma, and only 1.5. It's a, it's a pretty much standard tier 8 game that you encounter in these days. I mean, at least tier 8 matchmaking is good. At least that. that that's the one plus if you're playing tier 8 premiums. You are going to get most of the time in tier 8 games. Most of the time. It used to be so bad. Tier 8 used to be really bad. It was most of the time it was tier 10s and stuff like that. But these days tier 8 is kind of a kind of a good tier to play. I think the magic sweet spot is tier 9. And me tier 10 you can get if you're playing like strange hours that I don't know you can get into full tier 10 match matchmaking game after game after game and you have free RTs, free BRs or one RT, two RTs, free BRs and it's kind of it's just it, it it reminds me of ranked games and if I'm being honest every time I see free BRs and stuff like that it reminds me of the old Ooh. ranked 15 versus 15 and it's kind of brutal especially for newcomers and people that are i don't know bad at the game so yeah 2.7 already free frags while i was mumbling jumbling over here uh, it's 8.8 hp is they're pretty much tied over here and the city so far looks under control I mean, it all depends what the T28 is gonna do versus the defender. And if our friend over here, Mr. Oklahoma, I will just call you Mr. Oklahoma in a Slavic uh, accent. Mr. Oklahoma. I don't know, I love doing that. And my favorite word to say, I think it was in another video, I think the, the, the best thing to say in a Slavic accent, if you can pull it off, is juicy pussy. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, Jesus Christ, when am I gonna grow up? Uh, I, I have a question for... If anybody is over 40 or even 50 years old, do you get serious over time? Or are you just the same brain that kid like I am right now? Laughing at farts and stuff like that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, please. Alright. Our friend here is enjoying the shit out of his tank. This was his first game. I mean, that's what he said in the email. I don't know. Maybe he's lying. Maybe he's not. And he has secured his top gun. Good job. Good job, Mr. Oklahoma. And uh, he is going to reload AP now. Because he used all the other ones. Feels bad. It's 11.10. They still have... Uh, they still. Ha I mean, they have one more gun in the game. That email is a one-shot, but still... Having more guns usually works out better. Uh, but they're down one, one point six k of uh, HP. So let's see what's gonna happen. There's a Russian scorpion in the middle. Uh, that Russian scorpion can get sandwiched pretty easily, and I think they're gonna just get rid of him fairly fast. And yet he's not even looking at our friend here. He's dead. The the shells between the clip. I mean, the shells, the intra clip, whatever reload. You know when you shoot one and the next one, kind of long. The aim will shot faster than him. So, there's that. I don't know, there's really nothing that special about this tank that I would... That it would make me throw my underpants on the floor and yell. Whatever. It's just, I don't know. It seems like a basic little bitch. There we go, another one. Arty didn't manage to aim. Arty should have just went for it. If you hit, you hit. If you don't, you don't. If he dies, he dies, you know. Seven frags. The Emil is inviting him to a platoon so they get brothers in arms. And uh, he is proposing that he's going to reduce the HP of the remaining enemy teams so he gets more frags or something. Which is. You don't see this, this shit every day, you know? People rooting for you and playing for you and helping you out. I mean, you rarely see it. Usually it's just gibberish and uh, your mom gay, stuff like that. So yeah, two tanks left. And this is a pretty much secured victory because even though they're down 400 HP, the Senlag, the Aster V, I mean, the safest thing is like the Russian Scorpion is to cap. 
the dumb version is going one by one in the open field while the STR STRV can be unspotted. Uh, pretty much until you can grab him by the penis. So that's a big no-no. I, would, I wouldn't go there, especially with 500 HP. That's a two-shot, easy-peasy for the STRV. Um, pretty much everybody looks... This guy has a one HP. One shot, one shot, one shot. Uh, pff, maybe a high roll, one shot, and this guy is two shot. STRV, if he would be patient, I mean, if they pushed him one by one, they would easily die. So I think they're doing the right thing by going in, in the cap with one tank. Uh, and keeping that pressure on. Maybe the Senlak is gonna push now from that side where the Burask is pinging. That's my prediction. He's gonna come in like, <laughs> I need to decap, mommy. But he's not going to. Because he's gonna get met probably by the Aston, Aston, Astron Rex. That's been driven by Mr. Oklahoma. Ooh, he went through the city. Interesting, interesting. Two shots. Wait, he's actually giving the 53 toilet paper a run for his money? Wow. This is crazy. Astronex is gonna get him. Auto aim initiated. One, two. Come on. There we go. Radley Walters, they capped it. And your mom's gay. Let's check the post game stats. Alrighty, Radley Walters, Ace Tanker with 4.8k of damage and 8 frags doing 1600 base experience. Good job to Mr. Oklahoma and uh, only 1000 of profit because you shot a lot of premium ammo, my dude. <laughs> it is what it is. Happy Thursday to everybody and... Um, Bob's your uncle.